hi friends welcome back to new tutorial in this tutorial we are just going to see how to set up java on windows machine but before moving ahead with the installation process of java on windows machine the very first thing is to check whether java is pre-installed on your system or not so for the same we need to open command prompt so i'm just going to open command prompt just by clicking on this start menu i'm just going to type cmd and it will open the command prompt and inside this command prompt we need to type java space version and once we will hit enter if java is installed on our machine then it will give some cert it will give certain version of java otherwise it will say java is not recognized as an internal or external command it means java is not pre-installed on your machine this is the first case now the second case is for which architecture of operating system we are trying to download the java and we are trying to install the java so the second thing is to check the architecture of operating system either it is 32 bit or 64 bit so for the same there are two ways either we can just go uh, directly just by pressing windows and pause button or this is one way to open the system uh, window where we can just see the architecture of your operating system so here you can see 32 bit operating system it means my operating system is having architecture of 32 bit machine so this was the very first way to land on this page and the second way is to go to the start go to the computer right click here and click on the properties once we will click on the properties it will open the same system window that was opened when we have just click windows plus pause button from the keyboard so here we can see that see the operating system architecture so since i have 32 bit of operating system so now we are just moving ahead for the 32 bit operating system means jdk on our machine so for the same we need to type download jdk on google search once we will click we will see the very first link that is saying java sc download we will click on this link and once we will land on this page we will see one download button is there under jdk so we will click on this jdk download button and it will again redirect us to the downloading page of jdk so before moving ahead let me uh, give you a small overview of jdk so jdk is a kind of tool set that is needed to develop or test any program that has been written in java program it means whatever the program you are just going to write you can just compile it and can also execute the byte code so now we are on the downloading page of jdk so first we need to accept the license agreement and further we will move for the respective operating system so in my case my machine is having 32 bit 
operating system so i am just going to download the jdk version that is associated with windows x86 but if someone is having windows 64 bit then he or she will download their java uh, java development kit from this link and if someone is working on mac operating system then they can directly download it from here and as per their linux uh, operating system people can download various versions of jdk associated with various flavor of linux so here i am just going to click on this once i'll click on this it will be downloaded like this at the bottom of this chrome browser since i am just using the chrome browser so i have already downloaded this jdk so i am just opening the folder location and here we can see that jdk is downloaded at this place we will double click on this and once we will double click on this one open pop-up will open where we need to click on the run button so so here we can see open file security warning pop-up has just opened now we are just going to click on this run button so now we can see that windows installer pop-up is there and it will take some time and then this java se development kit 8 update and 77 is the version so now we need to click on this next button further we will see that development tool kits source code public jre is available and here you can see where this uh, where this jdk is going to be installed we will again click on next button and it will start the installation on our machine so it will take some time so just hold for us hold for the time during its, its installation once the installation will take place then a pop-up window that is going to ask you to change the destination folder if you want to change your destination folder then click on the change and browse the location where you want to install this uh, jdk or gre file so we are just going to click on this next button since we don't want to change make change in the jre location so further it will just install the jre on our machine so let's wait for few more minutes so once java is installed on our machine finally we will get one window that state that java sc development kit it has been successfully installed so we will just click on the close button and we will get back to the folder where jdk has just installed so the path of this jdk is Uh, is we will just navigate to this uh, local drive C and there we will just navigate to program file and inside this there will be one folder Java and inside that we can just see one folder with JDK 1.8.0 underscore double seven so we are just going inside this we are just going to copy this path and again we are just going to open the system window so again i am just going to click on windows plus pause button so it will open the system window and here we will click on the advanced system setting once we will click on this system property pop-up will uh, system property window will open we will click on the environment variables and inside this we will click on this new button and here we will create one java underscore 
home system variable and inside this we are just going to paste the path of that jdk installation folder now we are just going to click on this since we have just created one system variable but still we need to set the uh, environment variable so for the same we need to search the system variable with name path so here we get this path system variable we will click on this edit button and we will go at the end and at the end we are just going to place one semicolon and then we will call the java underscore home system variable here so for the same we need to write percentage symbol java sorry java underscore home again one percentage and one slash and we need to write bin folder because this is the folder where everything is available so now we are just going to click on ok we are just going to click on ok here again click ok and get back to the command prompt so again open a new command prompt window and type java hyphen version and now you will see that it is saying java version 1.8.0 underscore 77 has been installed on your, your machine that's all thank you